Sorry for the delay. I think the Wi-Fi, everybody is streaming so much right now, especially this time of night. It's just like the internet has literally gone down on me probably six times in the last week. If you've got a no whole worries. country watching Tiger King at the same time, it does put a strain <laughs> on the Wi-Fi. Yeah, that's right. I am streaming Tiger King on three separate TVs, so that might be the issue. <laughs> Have you uh, watched that? I haven't watched it yet, but that's all Tommy's oh, yeah. talking about. I'm watching it. I'm watching it for the second time. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I loved chatting with you last night because I found it fascinating um, understanding what it's like in different countries that people are going through. We're all going through, weirdly, the exact same thing, but the, the experience is slightly different for everyone. And we're slightly behind you, I feel, um, in Australia. And you were saying that over there, like you actually know people with corona and, and are watching what it's like for the journey that they're on. Mm. How are your mates going, all the people that you know that are going through it at the moment? The people that I know... Um um, thankfully, are doing really well. Um, they're recovering. The one person that was in a coma on life support has now stabilized. And is, is he was in a coma for almost two weeks, though. Every single day was like, he might die tonight, he might live. It was 50-50. Now he's recovered. But then I just found out an hour ago, uh, a guy that I knew, I wasn't tight with him, but I like we knew each other. We had traded emails and texts and like knew each other from the music industry. The lead singer uh, and founding member of Fountains of Wayne the act that like Jesse's mom has got it going on. And like yeah. a bunch of, he did the entire soundtrack to um, uh, uh, that thing you do, the Tom Hanks movie, the Oneaters, the wonders yeah, yeah. For that. He wrote like <laughs> yeah. do you doing that thing you do. Like, so he did, he did all those songs. He had a bunch of hits with his own group and he just died a few hours ago from coronavirus. He's 51. Oh my and, God. Um, yeah. They just announced it. So it's like, it's kind of wild. You know, I know almost a dozen people at this point um, that have it or have had it in different stages of recovery. Most of them were pretty laid out for two weeks. I've been very lucky, extremely lucky that I don't have it because I was very directly exposed to it um, by two different people. They both were hospitalized. So I've, I've been very lucky that I haven't gotten it. And if you live in the States right now, the news cycle is there's nothing else. Like it's like you can't we're, we're delaying our whole album until question mark because like i'm not i'm not putting out an album and then going on tv and be like everybody buy our stuff i know people are dying but you should listen to our song like it's just a weird time to be promoting stuff uh music is inherently uh acts as levity and it is a much needed cathartic release and, and escape from what's happening but um it's that fine line i find that people are listening to things that are comfortable that they already know there are people are really gravitating towards things that are familiar Mm -hmm. and hang out, play board games, watch movies. You know, at the, today I was like, should I download Rosetta Stone? Should, is, this, is now the time when I, when I become fluent Spanish? I think it might be. Um, <laughs> right. I'm going to try I'm very, I'm very interested in the American psyche and how you guys are doing because the only image we really see of it is Donald Trump, and he's yeah. very unflappable yeah. <laughs> in his confidence, and it's always good, it's always good, it's always good. How are the American people feeling? Are you, are you scared? It, the, the feeling in America is a buoy in the water, right? So it's that's really how it feels. So I live in LA, so it's beautiful every day. So at the very least, I wake up and the, the birds are chirping. It's blue skies. It's it's warm. Um, I can't imagine in uh, some other places right now they're still battling winter. It's even more apocalyptic. But every day, you wake up. The first thing everybody hears is the news. It's terrible. Uh, it's always worse than the day before because we're on, we're still on that upward swing. And then at some point in the day. You hear something um, like, oh, self-isolation seems to be working in Detroit or in Seattle. And you hear little you know, anecdotal messages about positive things. Then it circles back around at the end of the night. It, in, a, in an odd way, it's like the flu itself. When is the flu the worst? The morning when you wake up, you feel like you're dying. And then in the evening as you're going to bed. In the middle of the day, you kind of have that rebound where you're like, you know what? It's going to be okay. And maybe I'm over this. But then by the nighttime, it goes back down. So every day is a buoy in, in the water. And it's you just have to choose mentally to do things that bring you joy and preoccupy yourself. Where my head goes right now and what, what a lot of my friends are thinking about is the economy, right? Is has completely just gone down the toilet. I don't know if it has it happened in Australia, but it's just gone down the toilet over here. Yeah. Um, and and my friends, I have, I'm friends with a lot of chefs and been DMing with them on Instagram and talking and, and they're just – they're like three out of four, three out of four restaurants won't survive this. They won't come back. So like, if you, if you care about a place, 
Um, and I would say this to people in Australia, if you care about a local restaurant, buy gift cards, buy three meals for free, even if you're not eating them. Like do what you would, if you can afford to do it, if you can afford to do it, try to keep these places at least in business because really it's about survival. None of them are going to thrive right now. It's about surviving. And if they survive and you help them survive, they're going to be here. It's really that simple. How do you feel about the future of music, particularly live music? I'm super, I mean, look, when Live Nation's the the number one touring agency in the world, company in the world, when their stock cratered two weeks ago, I bought a bunch of it. That's how bullish I am. So I I probably made the single largest stock purchase I've ever made. It will come back, period. There will never be a time, uh, (coughs) there hasn't been a time in recorded history that live music wasn't part of the uh, social construct. I think that people will be rushing back to live venues where they can interact with people and all these things. That's the optimist talking. We need, yeah. we we need, need optimism. optimism and we need music. We, need we it. honestly, it is the thing connecting us all right now. And like you, we are also playing games. My new thing is Pictionary. I'm going to show you a picture. Can you tell me, and I'm a terrible, this is what I've discovered, I'm a terrible drawer, and I was given the task to draw someone famous. Tell me if you can work out through the, who this is. Hold on. Ed Sheeran. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I'm proud of that one. I'm not showing you the other ten that don't look anything like anybody famous. Um, talk to us um, ab- about your new single that you dropped yeah, the day the day the pandemic was declared. <laughs> yeah, we timed that perfectly, uh, didn't I? Is very much anybody that ever was a fan of One Republic back in the day with apologize stop and stare it's the first song we've done that sounds like that it kind of returns us to 13 years ago and it conjures up that vibe i wrote it with kaigo believe it or not it was it was a session for kaigo and at the end of the session i said dude you're not taking this i'm taking this he was like <laughs> in his very humble norwegian way well we'll talk about it you know and um and we took it and uh it's a gorgeous song it's about the ending of a relationship you know relationships that come to an end um divorce or breakups or whatever uh, it's it's about that the moment when you see that person for the first time and they've moved on and and you're like oh man like this like and all those feelings come back and you're like man it was that was it was so bad but, but it was also really good and and i know that this ended but when it was good but you know but didn't we didn't we also have some really really good times like like i still have fond memories of you and and didn't I love you? And didn't we? Didn't we try? Didn't you know all these things? It's time because there's a whole lot of people that are going to be locked down together for months, and they might start considering divorce. They just need to listen to your song, oh, yeah. and then they'll and then they'll be like, "That's the feelings I'm going to feel when I see that person." So it's not worth it. I, I think you're right, though. So we were just <laughs> talking about you know um, three things are going to come from this pandemic. One, there's going to be a hell of a lot more alcoholics. Two. <laughs> <laughs> Two. I mean, I've seen liquor sales are up 72% globally. That that number is not made up. Um, number two, there's going to be the largest jump in global population in about October <laughs> of 2020. If I'm doing my math right. Um, three, uh, there will be, I guess there's four things. Three, sadly, there will be some divorces. And, and four, there's going to be a lot of people that I think were on the verge of breaking up that that have just completely gelled back together and found out why they were together in the first place. So didn't I is for, for those people, didn't I is for uh, you. (laughs) What a beautiful note to three or four. End on. Let's hope, (laughs) let's hope it's three out of four. Yeah. Ryan said it. Thank you. Thank you so much, mate. One Republic's latest single, Didn't I, is out now, and your album Human will be out later in the year. It's always a pleasure. It'll Thanks, it'll be out. It'll be out when we're all good and healthy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope later in the year. Later in the year. Later in the year. Later in the year. Yeah. Thanks, Ryan. Thanks, Ryan. Cheers. See ya. See ya. Bye. Bye.